I'm dripping junket. How you doing guy? Ralph here, Ralphie's Reviews Team No Steep. Today we're going to be reviewing the Noisy Cricket series mod by Wismec. Wismec? Wismec. Uh, Jabo. Whatever that means. It's made by Wismec. It's got Jabo on it. Same as the Infinite. Indestructible even. Uh, RDA. Now these are, are taking the market by storm. A lot of people who have not got a clue about series vaping, series boxes, etc. are buying these because they are readily available stock permitting and ridiculously inexpensive to buy now th there's a few little safety issues um, which we'll go into in the video and apart from that they're a good little device um, I would never ever ever recommend anything like this for a beginner this uh, unassuming little thing has quite the potential to do you and itself some damage there's no safety features as such but with a bit of common sense you can get yourself a nice enjoyable delicious vape so we'll go down and close up as always and I'll show you how simple it is in its construction uh, and use and we'll talk a little bit more about it yeah See you in a okay people so here he is I'll just uh, pull the cap off take my dripper off you see I'm using the indestructible it's not important to use a paired one it's just that they look nice together there it is in all its glory we'll take the switch out just unscrews on this little brass fitting now better debate with my son about this button I think they're made of alloy he thinks they're made of plastic if it's plastic, it's hard plastic. Put the battery out. And this leaves us the 510 for your dripper. So, we'll just undo that a little bit. It's got slots in there. You could use a coin for this, but I've not got any on me. I'm not allowed cash. As people who know me know. And we'll take that all the way out with my left hand. Covered in juice on camera. If I can do this, anyone can. So I'll swap hand up. We'll have that out. Boom, boom, boom. Just like that. He says, and then fumbles a lot. That's gone. That's gone. Battery out. That's all there is. There's a stainless steel with a brush finish case. Plate on the bottom with a logo on. Two holes, one for each battery, and you can see it vents down through there, so it's quite open. Um, if anything should go badly wrong, it's not going to explode before you've thrown it out the window, because it's got plenty of air in the bottom there. Five tens made of brass, screws in, it's got the logo on it there, if the camera will pick that up. Little slots in, little holes in, so you can manipulate it, tighten it up and undo it. Same with the button. Lovely little button that is. It's got a little hex or Allen key fitting there so you can take it apart if you need to service it, give it a clean, do whatever you want to do. And this, I'm going for alloy. Black alloy button with J bow. And the camera's not getting that. I'm trying to adjust the light a little bit. The camera's still not getting that. And Wismac on it and a slot on it. So, Putting it together couldn't be simpler. Now, because this is a series mod, here's my two batteries. This is your parallel mod. Both positive ends are the same, they're up together, and both negatives. Look at the damage on that wrap. Shouldn't be using that, especially in this. So ignore that. I'll have to rewrap that. I've done a video on it in my feed. Um, which is gonna give you 3.7 volts, but you've got twice the long Gevatec because you're using two batteries running in parallel, they're running together, they're going the same way, same direction. You get your 3.7 volts or 4.2 when they're fully charged out the top, join them together at the bottom. A lot of mods work like that, great. 
Now with a series mod, what you're doing in effect is this. You're putting two together, same as in a torch, so you're doubling that power. You've now got 8.4 or 7.4 volts running through your device. So we need to be a little bit sensible about how we use it, yeah? We just need to observe a little bit of battery safety. Don't use damaged cells with the wraps gone. Although, inside here it's all plastic lined. There's very, very little chance of a short, but I would say that's bad practice. Now, unfortunately, these are the only two batteries that I've bought out here, so really, I should go inside and get fresh ones for the rest of this, but I won't because I'm only demonstrating it. So please, please, please don't use damaged batteries like this one. Yeah, this one's fine, love, in good condition. Anyway, what we're going to do, we're going to remember that we're using two batteries in series. So positive to negative, we're stacking the batteries. You've all seen the VCM stacked. This is a stacked, but folded in half. So we've got one up, one down. A lot of your regulated uh, devices run this, so they can utilize that doubled up battery power to give you more wattage and more powerage and do everything a lot more powerfully than a parallel mod, yeah? The only difference with this is you can't turn it up and down and there's no safety features. So your vape quality or the power that you're running at is dictated by your build. Now, I always, always, always recommend people who are new to series boxes to start with a build of 0.05 or above. Yeah, no, 0.05 ohms or above. Never, ever, ever use wire that's any thinner or any lighter than 24 gauge. These things kick some power. And we don't want accidents to happen. We don't want you to hurt yourself or hurt your equipment. Yeah. So start with a nice 12, 13 wrap on a 3 mil bit, joule, 24 gauge. That's going to get you about 0.5 of an ohm, which is well within the safety. I run about 8 or 9 wraps, which is 0.3 of an ohm, thereabouts. And that gives me the vape that I like. And we're still well within the safety boundaries of these uh, 25, 30 amp batteries. So just bear that in mind, do, do your research, get an Ohm's Law calculator, do a bit of working out, understand that you're not overstressing your equipment. Um, that said, unless you're the incredible orc, I think that you're going to give in before your batteries do on a series box, because these things will kick your head in, yeah? So right, let's fit it up, one up, one down, dead simple. What I do is fit the 510 adapter if you will onto the RDA first so we can struggle to get that on on camera I'm going to tighten that up just finger tight don't grip it really hard and twist you're going to cut yourself yeah now vital again is that that center pin on your 510 stands proud we've got a hybrid connection here there's no spring there's nothing to uh, stop the outside edge of your 510 touching the top of the battery if that little screw there is not proud that's a no-no that's going to give you a dead short and you're going to run into all sorts of problems you should already know this shit if you're using a series box yeah anyway positive is proud adapter is on we're going on to the positive side of the battery and we're going to screw that in until it's nice and snug no need to go mad yeah tweak just gonna wipe that juice off my hand now we've got the negative side up remember my battery wasn't perfect so i've put that one negative side up because we've got a little insulator on the inside of this button keeping me very very safe again i don't recommend it i will be changing this and rewrapping that battery for future use so this one i've found it's got to be this because i've tried it in both holes it's a little bit tight to start but then we go let me just tighten him all the way up by hand yeah and then we'll finish him off either with a coin or a flat blade flat blade screwdriver which is what i'm doing 
and don't go mad don't screw it right you know you're not tightening up the wheels on your car just snug give him a shake no battery rattle we're good to go now if we hit that button that will fire and off it goes it is that simple batteries in one up one down a sensible build in a safe rda that's well suited to that hybrid connector obviously use your high-end batteries 25 amp or above so you've got your samsung 25 r's etc 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 there's loads of them out there now cap on and we're good to vape it's that simple lovely little device perfect now let's just look at a few negatives shall we um for the money 30 pounds are they retail thereabouts absolutely perfect can't knock it the finish however what what i found these edges had an edge on i've got a little cut on my thumb that this probably won't pick up and it caught on them edges and it felt real gnarly like they've missed out a stage in the finishing same with these slots with these vent slots they've got a little bit of an edge on them it's not as well finished as i'd like what i did was got the old nail polishing file yeah and just ran it around all the way around top and bottom just only took a minute and that didn't damage the finish because it's really soft look it won't do anything especially to my gnarly old nails and it smoothed them out lovely um what else can i say really you know 30 quid is it worth it yeah is it safe to use if you're not an idiot yeah i'm a big fan of removing uh, safety warnings on things and culling them off a little bit only joking um 0.5 or above if you're a beginner 24 gauge don't go any thinner you'll melt that wire you really will use a sensible dripper with plenty of airflow don't have to be uh, an indestructible to match up the brand like this does i use modified still airs and dark horses and all sorts on my series boxes and they work a treat lovely little thing let's go back up top and talk a bit more okay there you have it it's uh there's not much to say about it really you know it's pretty well made it's uh it's well made enough to feel safely confident about using don't be scared of the series embrace the series i love my series boxes i even make series boxes they're on our website there's a few little bits though like we say be aware of battery safety you know don't go chucking rewraps in there and anything with fire in the name and and just understand get an ohm's law calculator app for your phone and make sure that you're not going above 25 30 amps for your 25 30 amp batteries um truth is you're going to have to go pretty low i run 0 0.3 and that comes out at 25 amps thereabouts if i recall it might be 20 amps and that's pushing over 200 watts just over 200 watts um which the hardware and the batteries can more than handle now if i ran lower if i went 0 0.2 i won't be able to vape it it would start to push the envelope of safety as far as the device and the batteries are concerned but my lungs wouldn't take it you know or well, those that know me my lung wouldn't take it so as long as you know you're not shorting as long as you've got sensible batteries that are properly wrapped as long as you're using a suitable dripper you won't get a tank on here and vape with a tank it's kicking out too much you know you're going to put a tank on your regulated device and run it over 200 watts it's not happening yeah so just a little bit of common sense the vape quality is good good just what you'd expect from a series device with your preferred building um fits um you know fits nice in the end fits nice in the pocket i'm struggling to find anything bad to say about this as a device um as i showed you the the edge was a little bit you could say it wear off in your pocket to smooth with use and for 30 quid jesus it's a price of a takeaway man you know how much do you spend down the pub i'm teetotal so i spend nothing down the pub 
um, well, it's not a, a, an issue. The cost of it is not an issue. The one thing, I guess, that I'm a little bit uncomfortable with um, is related to that price. Let's get a bit of tissue. There we um, And that's that we're talking level entry cost. 30 quid, you know. What you got? 30 quid, 15 quid for a decent drip of clone, 45 quid, five pound something for each battery, that's another 10 or 55 quid. So for well under 60 pounds, you are going to be able to buy, set up and use a series device which kind of opens the door to the masses. Uh, my series boxes are 90 pounds. Now a lot of work goes in. They're all handmade, hand finished, yada yada yada. I'm not going to go into a sales pitch, but they cost three times what these little bad boys cost. Um, and I, I feel that's justified. What I am uncomfortable with is that these all fall into the hands of people that ride the bandwagon, if you like. You know, we see new products come out and they gain popularity incredibly quickly and sales go through the roof overnight um, these sold out in the UK as soon as they landed really um, and I know from trying to get hold of them ourselves to stock that even our suppliers are struggling to get them and they can only get a few hundred at a time five six seven hundred at a time which for them is like nothing it's like a sample order because uh, wise make are, are selling them as fast as they can make them now because of the nature of the beast, I can't help feeling that people are going to fuck up. The people who don't know what they're doing are going to make mistakes. They're going to put shitty batteries in. They're going to put damaged batteries in. They're going to put drippers on that aren't suited for a hybrid. They're going to try and tank or they're going to put a low build in. And this thing don't know. It's got no intelligence. You know, it's got no inbuilt safety features. It's not going to say build too low. It's not going to say device too warm. It's not going to say power too low. You hit that button, it fires. It's mechanical. You know, it's like it's it with a screwdriver. It just happens. So that kind of worries me a little bit. But I've done my best to explain the few things that I think are key to safety. Um, I would never advise buying or selling one to anyone who's not advanced enough to know what they're doing and at the end of the day I'm not the vaping police and I'm not their mum so let's hope nobody gets hurt but it's not my responsibility really um, that said I've got to do the responsible thing which is why I'm wittering on a little bit in the end bit here about my concern is that people who are fucktards are going to get hold of them and blow the face off not going to happen it's a good thing So there you go. Wise Mech, Noisy Cricket, little series mod. It's a cute little device, very well made for the cost, very well finished for the cost. Does it do it? Yeah. Is it up to par? Yeah. Is it hassle free? Yeah. If you can get one, buy one and get hold of it, then it's certainly hassle free. Is it worth the money? Bang on, it's worth the money. 30 quid, it's price for takeaway, and that'll last you years. Good one. Thanks for watching people, and remember to vape safe and vape happy. Smoking kills, vaping saves lives, which do you choose? I'll see you all again real soon. Thanks for watching.